Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Giro Empire SLX lace-up shoes. So that's these guys right here. They weigh about 370 grams, so they're a really light shoe. So my reason for going with the Empire SLX shoe, I had a few reasons. One, I wanted to get a lighter shoe, something for climbing, and the lace-ups are supposed to be more aero, which I did find, I did some aero testing, and I'll put a link in the description below to that testing. I tested them against the, um, the S-Work 7 with the uh, with bow dials. Found that, yeah, they are a little bit faster, a little bit more aero, because like anything that sticks out in the wind, catches the wind, messes with the airflow, and there's all this aero science-y stuff around it. But the laces don't do that. I also wanted to try laces because they distribute the pressure on your foot the way they, they um, secure your foot a little bit differently than the bow dials. Typically they have like uh, one bow dial across the top with a strap or a strap and two bow dial it's basically wires. The lace-ups, you get a more even distribution. They're supposed to be more comfortable, and what I found was, is yeah, on the top, they are they are more comfortable, and they do secure your foot really well. So one of the other things that uh, was a hesitation to go with uh, lace-ups was I was afraid like the loops would go into the chain ring or get caught or something. The shoes come with this little thing, this little band right here that you tuck the uh, loop into, and then you tuck them under the laces. And I've never had an issue with them coming out. Uh, one of the other things that uh, people often talk about and for me was a hindrance was the ability to tighten up a boa dial on the fly so as you ride your foot expands and contracts you can't do that places you're, you're stuck with them right so i thought that was going to be an issue instead what i found out was that i think the reason we fuss with our shoes is because the boa dials it's just wired so they don't expand and contract with your foot you get laces and laces stretch right they stretch and they um, contract with your foot. What I found was I didn't feel the need to have to tighten them down once I got a place where I felt they were comfortable. That was it. The other thing that, that I was curious about was sprinting because you know they do flex with the boa dial. It's nice to be able to reach down and tighten them up. We see the pros doing it. And, and mentally, there's something about like tightening and securing it because I'm getting ready to go really hard. I had a couple of sprint workouts and I tried the S-Work 7s and I tried these and I didn't feel any real difference other than they felt more secure with the boa dials, but there was no power difference. It wasn't like I had less power sprinting with these than I did with the, the boa dials. So that was kind of surprising. I thought for sure there'd be a difference, but there wasn't. It's a really stiff shoe. It's not an uncomfortable shoe. It's just a race shoe, similar to you know any of the other high-end top tier race shoes. If you're looking for a comfortable shoe, um, I would go down the line and find something that's a little bit more comfortable. It's going to be a little bit heavier. It's not going to be as stiff. It's going to be a little bit flexier. So it's not, again, not that it's uncomfortable. It's just not made to be like this super comfort shoe. The other reason I got the shoe was I liked this ability to change out the arch support. I have a low arch. So I was like, oh, this would be nice to kind of you know, pick the arch support. So if you look, just some Velcro, you pick the one you want. This is the uh, the most extreme R support. You put it in there, you're ready to go. That's it, you can change them out. After riding these for two rides, I hated them. They're, they're too thin. Uh, they don't really absorb the vibration from the road very much. And um, they're actually quite terrible. When I got these from a local shop, uh, thank you Folsom Bike for getting me hooked up. And I've got the medium R support. It's pretty easy to set up. If you don't put in um, you know, aftermarket soles, you got to think about it because a lot of times the uh, manufacturers put in these soles that, that aren't very good. They're kind of thin. And these are really great. They're comfortable. They're soft. I've got the R support I wanted. I'm able to cut and trim them and then put them right into the shoe. It's really easy to get in and out. And uh, both of the shoes are set up. Um, to deal with the, the numbness that I was getting with my big toe, I was able to pull the, uh, uh, the cleat back a little bit. So I measured it up against the metatarsal and then brought it back a little bit. And then I found just the distribution up here with um, the laces uh, as opposed to the bow dials seemed to help. And then adding a little bit of art support and got rid of the, the numbness that I was getting in my feet constantly. Anyways, guys, so there is my review for the Giro. Empire SLX shoe. I think it's a great shoe if you're looking for something that's light and aero and comfortable in a race shoe. And I say that with a caveat, it might be worth checking out. 
Uh, shoes really depend on you as the rider, you know, the shape of your foot and see if they work. So don't just go buy them because you saw my review. Find a shop that has them so you can try them on and see if they're going to work for you. They might not. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't wear these in the winter. They're, it's not a winter shoe. You get totally soaked because of the, of the holes and uh, you know, the little vents for it. But I like them. I think they're really stiff. It's a great shoe. Uh, laces are really comfortable. Hey, guys. Hope you like that. Um, if you did, please subscribe, share with your friends. Bye.